Hey, what is up guys? On this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. This is gonna be more of a blog style where I walk you through the process, how I go from switching from one device to another. I think it's time that I go back there to the closet and I pull one of the older Note phones that I have and test them out. I haven't tried any of them in a while. It's been a while now. I've been using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra uh, for some time now. So it, it is time that we go back and check the other ones out and see how they're doing. I am also working on trying to get some other new tech that I can review on the channel. I don't want to just do any nonsense, small tech videos. Uh, I want to focus on getting some new hot items that are coming up and review those for you guys. So let's go first. Let's go check out and see what other Note devices we have and we go through them and see decide which one we want to work on next on the next video. Since we're already here, I can give you a quick sneak peek of what we have in the studio. You guys know I moved recently. So right now I'm using that corner a little bit just for the lighting where I keep the camera, you know, a small monitor just to do the B-rolls. I do have a bed here that I really don't use much, just having it as a backup here in the studio. Uh, here I have my desk, which I mostly use for work, uh, where I spend most of my time during the day. I do have another stand-up desk here that I currently don't use but I'm probably gonna be using that to shoot some, some of the videos in the near future. Uh, back here I have a closet, which pretty much I keep all my junk related stuff. Anything that I have tech related, I'll, I should I need to go through it and organize it. Uh, one day we can probably go over and do a quick video. But, but right now what we wanna focus on is we talk about, let's see what note devices we have in stock or should I say in the backlog that I should be reviewing and I haven't reviewed in a while. So. Here, as you guys know, not too long ago, we talked about the Galaxy Note 4. Pretty much, I was not able to use it since it got blocked, so we'll just put it to the side. I also have an S3 that I got a long time ago. S7, let's put it over here. Here we got the Note 7. Uh, let's talk about this Galaxy Note 7. What happened to it? So, as you guys may remember, Galaxy Note 7 was recalled a couple of years ago, or it was pretty much a while ago now. It seems like it was just not too long ago. They did return the Galaxy Note as a Galaxy Note Fan Edition. I think that's what they call it. I never got my hands on it. But, you know, I remember when I first got the Galaxy Note 7, I was so excited about that device. I remember I was using the Galaxy Note 4 and I was ready to get something new. When I got it, that was an awesome phone. Probably one of the best phones I had got at the time after the Note 4. Sadly, as we know, the Note started catching fire. The Galaxy Note 7 started catching fire. They started doing recalls. I went through the first recall. I sent it back. I got a new device. I was excited. And then I was sad when I heard the news that the Note 7 was permanently being recalled and we had to all send them back. I do remember that I kept the Galaxy Note 7 all the way until the last day. You know, I kind of just refused to send it back with hopes that they would just change their mind. But, you know, I remember making a video about it where I got an update from T-Mobile. It was... Uh, a force update that will just basically kill the phone and why by saying kill the phone it basically disabled the charging of the battery so after installing that update that said i couldn't wireless charge the phone i couldn't charge the phone through the cable after the phone went to zero percent and it turned off that said that's when the, the note 7 died for me and sadly i had to send it back i ended up keeping the the case uh, when I tried to take it back to the to the rep, the guy told me just keep everything. All we need is just a device, and I ended up keeping the S Pen. So that's something I still have, and you know, just just small memories. It was I was excited about that phone, and and I said to myself that I was gonna get the Fan Edition, and I never did. So hopefully, 2022 will be the year that I'll get that device. But that's what it is. So let's get back to the other phones. What device should we review next? You know. Been using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra again. I got the Note 10. I don't know if I really want to do this one next. I kind of want to do the Note 8. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go with the Note 8. S10 Plus was an awesome phone. But again, it was missing the S Pen. So, eh, wish it had it. But the Note 10 did came with it, right? 10 Plus. Uh, here we got the Note 9. Also another awesome phone that came, came around the time. Probably also one of the best uh, from the Note 8 to the Note 9. I remember biggest improvement, uh, battery life for sure was a huge hit, camera improvement as well, and a couple of other things that I don't remember. Uh, here we got the box of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but yeah, definitely, you know what? We are gonna focus on the Galaxy Note 8. So let's take it back to, to the studio. 
or the desk and let's see what we got to do with it. So the first thing that we want to do, let's get it out of the box. Here it is, good old Galaxy Note 8. Man, I miss this phone. One of the things that I like to do right away before I do a, a manufacturer reset on the phone, make sure I don't have any recent pictures, videos, anything that I may have recorded and I forgot about it. First thing we're gonna do is reset the phone, as I mentioned, and just bring it back to manufacturer settings. So it's basically fresh out of the box. So yes, here's an example. A couple of days ago, I was just testing it out without even putting a SIM card in that. And, and there's a couple of videos that I shot and this is, there's this particular videos that I like that I shot about my, with my son. And I definitely wanna save this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select uh, the videos. If I had multiple, I could just select all. And since I don't have uh, OneDrive on this device, I'm gonna just back them up to Google Drive at the moment and then I'll get them later. And here we go to settings. Then we're gonna come back down to about the phone. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and click reset. You're gonna have a couple of options you can do just reset the settings but as i mentioned i want to go ahead and do a manufacturer reset or what they call it it's a factory data reset which is basically going to wipe everything out of the phone and it's just going to bring the the phone to out of the box condition now we go back to the galaxy note 20 ultra where we want to go ahead and ensure we get the latest backup of all the settings messages and some of the data so we can transfer that to the galaxy note 8. here we go to settings Then we go to accounts and backups. From there, you click on backup data. Now remember, Samsung used to allow us to do a full backup of videos, pictures, media, everything on your phone, and then you were gonna be able to transfer it to the new device. Well, they don't, they switch to OneDrive where now you gotta send all your files, all your media files. For example, pictures, videos need to go there. Uh, this backup, what it does, it, it's more limited. It's only basically gonna back up some of the data from your device, like call logs, contacts, messages. If you have things on your calendar, just things like that will, will get back up to to your to the cloud and then you can transfer that to the new device. Now we're going to go back to the Galaxy Note 8, which is good to go. Uh, manufacturer reset, it's completed. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the SIM card out of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, put that back in the Galaxy Note 8. Oh, and one thing that I noticed is that I officially, I now have a dead pixel on a Galaxy Note device. As you can see, I just noticed that it's right on the edge. And thankfully it is right on the edge where it's not going to be in the middle where I could see it all the time. I can still see it is going to bother me just a little bit, but not as bad. Another thing that I noticed is like as I'm getting ready to restore the backup or backup, bring back the latest backup to the Galaxy Note 8, it's not currently giving me the last backup that I did on the Note 20 Ultra a couple of minutes ago so i'm gonna hold off i think some of the servers are still updating so it looks like we're done doing most of the updates for the apps let's go see if we can get that backup that i talked about earlier so we're gonna go to settings here we go to accounts and backup from here we're gonna go through backup and restore and then we're gonna click on restore data and as you can see it's pulling up some of my last backups that i did Definitely want to make sure you pick the latest one, which is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and here's the date for it. Again, it's not going to back up all your pictures, videos that that went away not too long ago. So let's go ahead and click restore. And of course, we got to have a case. So I went through some of the old cases that I had, and I found this Alcantara kind of suede case. I did a video on this a long, long time ago. I even forgot I had this case on. So I remember I kind of liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this case while I test out the Galaxy Note 8. But there it is guys, I should be giving you an update maybe in a week, mostly two weeks. I also wanna give you an update on this other case that I've been using with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I know we talked about this not too long ago and we were there were some speculations if this case was gonna actually protect the lens of the phone or if this ring was gonna damage the phone or scratch it. I'm definitely gonna make an update on that and hopefully it will help some people, will add some value to people that may wanna get a similar case for their current phones or a phone in the future. Also, shout out to you guys. I uh, can not name everybody, so I'm just going to say it. All you guys that left a comment on my last video, uh, remembering that I've been out and kind of, you know, giving some support that I finally started making videos again. So thank you guys for that. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'm going to stay more consistent. Hopefully, I'll bring some more videos of some of the new hot items that are coming up very soon. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.